Biden tax plan promises usual tax the rich, save the poor scheme. That's our topic report, and I'm calling this in the video title. Biden tax plan hurts crypto, targets rich to pay for poor. And I say targets rich to pay for poor. It will not. It will pay for subsistency. It will not pay to change the poors from the poors to the self-sustaining. They do not want we the poorest to be self-sustaining. They do not want we the poorest to have the power, to have the ability to say no to the corporate nationalists and their particular monopoly on products and services that we must, uh, we must purchase if we are to live. And if we are going to purchase them, we must do so on the corporate nationalist terms where unelected officials set the tone for what is and is not orthodoxy in America. And this is uh, the topic, Biden tax plan, corporate capital gains. Dow closes more than 300 ports, points lowering lower following reports of Biden eyeing capital gains tax hike from CNBC.com. I should add that apparently the Dow is already, quote unquote, rebounding. So I don't know. I don't know what it means. Tax plan targets big tax, $100 billion in foreign Profits. Ooh, they'll only do that if big tech agrees to it because the big tech is the corporate national. The, the heart and soul of corporate nationalist power is so called big tech because that's where the big, big money, big tech and big media really. <laughs> it's not just big tech, but I, I, I notice they're not targeting big media. They should be targeting big media as well because they make tons and tons of uh, foreign profits outside the United States. From the treasuryandrisk.com, here's an excerpt. Technology giants led by Apple Inc. and Microsoft Corp. disclosed more than $100 billion in profit outside the United States in their most recent fiscal years, making them prime targets of, 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 the pre of President Joe Biden's proposals to boost taxes on earnings stashed overseas. I don't read any more of that. I'll just read some of the headlines here. And then I want to see something a little bit more about the whole taxation game. Key GOP senators say they're open to corporate tax increases from Rahu News, specifically from Axios. Uh, some, Repo some key Republican senators won't rule out raising additional revenue from corporations and told Axios they may be willing to close loopholes that allow big businesses to eliminate their overall tax bill. European markets drop as Biden's tax plan spooks investors from ukfinance.yahoo and then we have Biden's tax plan prompts crypto sell off forcing Bitcoin below 50k support line that sucks I got Bitcoin I have some Bitcoins and I should have sold I, I've been pretty decent with selling it at its peaks but uh, I missed this one missed this one I got sick I was sick for a few days and during that period of time that I was out the price went down. I thought, well, I better hold. Maybe we'll get me now. It's still going down. But I'm still holding. I'm still holding. I'm holding. Hold door. Hold door. U.S. President Joe Biden to propose hiking tax on rich. BBC.com. And then we get Biden has pledged to tax the rich. But precisely how will he do that? Experts consider his options for market watch. And then we got this from the hill.com. As Americans struggle, Biden's tax plan helps blue states and foreign nations. I don't know the degree to which that's true, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Tax hikes. You know, it's hard for me to come out and defend the corporate nationalist against being taxed. But here's the deal, folks. I want you to try to understand the kabuki theater that you're witnessing here. The corporate nationalists are the power in America. They, they set the tone. The United States government is in Silicon Valley. It's not in Washington. So... If Silicon Valley sees the usefulness of of being taxed, quote unquote, taxed more so that they can then use government power to fund the special projects that advance their their vehicles of power that allow them to cut off competition. Well, then you might not see as much resistance to this. Uh, otherwise, this won't get done. That's the bottom line. And when they raise taxes, they won't be raising taxes so that they can actually design programs to actually equip the poor to be self-sustaining, to be able to set the terms of their own existence. Rather, they will use it to fund whatever, whatever policies, agendas, special interest groups, 
that advance their vehicles of power. In this case, they have signed up with this whole, whatever, critical race theory, social justice, this this moral supremacism that, that feeds off of the legitimate plea of the needy, but does so by offering no real solutions other than complete control of human thought and action so that corporate nationalists don't have to worry about the next up-and-comer that might challenge. Remember, a lot of these corporate nationalists, I, I think it's uh, something like 60%, maybe as high as 60% of millionaires in America are new millionaires. They don't come from families. So these new millionaires, these nouveau riche powers that have been created, they understand how easy it is for others to come along and take their little golden goose. So the nouveau riche in America are, are the fundamental, this is my, my theory, are the fundamental drivers of, of coming on board with this type of moral supremacist agenda so that they don't have happened to them what they did to the old money. They, they, they ruined some old money families, not, not, not all of them, probably not most of them, but they ruined some old money families. They created new money families, and they don't want the same thing to happen to them. This isn't at all about anything other than reality of power that serves the interest of the very few at the exploitation of the many. I can't come out in defense of these corporate nationalists getting more taxation, but I'll, it is true what the Republicans say. If you raise tax on a corporation, the corporation is going to make sure you pay for it. Not them. Small businesses can't afford to pass on this expense to their customers as easily as corporations can. Just just keep that in mind when you're cheering on the whole tax the rich thing. But also keep it in mind if you want to defend the rich from being taxed as well. There is no right position to be had here. It's, it's all one big cluster. You know what? <laughs> 